This is Turks and Caicos. We are in the Western Caicos, and this is how you bing them. Yay! Hello and good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are starting the day off on the run because we have got, not on the run, but on the go. We have got a very full day today. We are going to be doing a full eight, nine hour day on the water. On a most amazing boat. This Can't is wait incredible, to you guys. It's called the Serenity. It's a sport yacht. Ooh. We've been looking forward to this one. This is going to be a tour of the Southern Caicos Islands, getting to places you can't get otherwise. Private islands, cliffs, caves, snorkeling, everything. But it starts first thing this morning. So we're loading up in the car, headed over, and we're getting on this boat. Let's do it. Kids are getting suited up for fins for today. We're gonna be gone all day today out on the water. So we're gonna be doing some snorkeling, some exploring. It's the first thing to do, get the right fit fins for our adventures today. Is those too small? So you stretch them in the back. You want them to be nice and tight. What do they go yeah, up to? They go up to clown? Do they go up to clown? Do you get uh, ski size? What size did you get? Uh, yeah, I got like a size 52. 50. <laughs> is that UK or is that US? US. Give a little Mindy, wiggle. Do you find one for you? It's gonna work for today. I think yeah. we're there, folks. <laughs> Wait, are you guys allowed to sit on this thing? Are, th are you kidding me, dude? I'm coming up here with you. Hazy, are you right there? Guys, we're gonna be cruising in style today. This is our sport yacht for the day. It has all those fun outboard motors. They call it the Serenity, I think. Yes, the Serenity of Turks and Caicos. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait for today. All right, quick little house tour here, guys. We're getting, oh my gosh, this is underneath the boat. We've got a bedroom in here. We've got all I'm of gonna our take a little nap while we're This is the underneath the boat. <laughs> oh, and we got a kitchen. I think we're gonna be getting some food. Oh, is that a breakfast for us? Guys, we get like scones and stuff. Wait, dude, I didn't see this. This is another full room in here full of alcohol. That won't be of any use to us, but still. Bathroom, back out to the upper deck. <laughs> We are setting sail officially right now. We're just gonna go out a little ways. They're gonna go a safety briefing before we really head out into the water and go exploring. But dude, so far, what do you think of this thing? This is so cool. This, this. this is we're gonna be hanging all day, bro. Hazy, are you having fun up here on top? Yeah. This is pretty cool, guys. So me, Rex, Hazy, and crew are sitting on top. We got Ryler, Michelle, Mom, and Daniel down here on the front. We've got like mats, little chairs all over the place. You can literally sprawl anywhere on this boat. Let's get out there and let's go see some of the beauty that this island has to offer. Oh yeah. <laughs> on the, I think it's La Famille, I keep saying it, but this is actually, we're gonna be heading for Crew's birthday. We're gonna be taking jet skis, which I just realized now is a very long jet ski ride because you can't see land for a ways. So on Crew's birthday, we'll be back here out to that ship jumping off of it. Now we can't stop and jump off of it today. We're just doing like a little express drive-by to see it because of how cool it is. So right shallow. there, it is so shallow, so crystal blue. This is one of the most scenic boat rides I think you can possibly go on. Quick little swing by the La Famille, but this is just a teaser, a preview of what's coming up for Crew's birthday because we're gonna be jet skiing from the land clear out there and riding jet skis all the way out to here, climbing up on this vessel and jumping off that rusty bucket. It's iconic, it's famous, it's world famous. Stopped here briefly because this is Prince's old house. Guy came in and bought it for 34 million, she believes, after he died. It used to have a big old purple Prince sign on it. The guy's kind of renovating and updating it here, but this whole compound right here, two houses, Prince's spot. Guys, they told us this one was yesterday's tour. So, hoping that we make it a little bit further than this one. <laughs> JK, that was a week ago. Crew, I've been up top fighting the wind. You're down here eating chocolate-filled donuts? And uh, ginger ale. Okay, you, you're doing it right, bro. Uh, Brexy's sipping that. a Sprite. You guys are just living your best life today. <laughs> Just doing kind of like a sightseeing tour of some of the most amazing houses uh, the on the houses island. Here are incredible. 
incredible. They're insane. They have all these like private walk down docks where you can launch in kayaks and paddle boards. They're gigantic, sprawling mansions right on the edge of cliffs, like at the island's edge. Maybe we just looked up on Google Maps where we are versus we where are we were. Full circle around where. We're seeing the entire island today. Yeah, guys. and they said that up here there's the owner of Ferrari. He has like his own like private island with like a drawbridge. That yeah, like a drawbridge to get to it. I'm just like, wow. This has been this quite cool. the sightseeing tour. You guys having a good time out here? Yeah. Woo! This is pretty gnarly, but this is the Ferrari house right here. And it's its own house on its own separate island divided by a drawbridge here. They only open that when they want to allow people in and it's open right now. So I think as part of the tour, we each get a Ferrari. Is that how it works? You get a Ferrari, you get a Ferrari, you get a Ferrari. You get a Ferrari, <laughs> you get a Ferrari, you get a Ferrari. <laughs> Okay, there'll be no Ferraris on this trip, but did get to see the Ferrari house on its own island and drawbridge was open. So technically, I think they were inviting us in for a Ferrari. We just don't have time. We need to keep moving the tour along. We'll come back later. This is called Split Rock. It was literally split by lightning and separated from the mainland. So it is a separate rock entirely on its own, divided by a lightning strike. That is an unreal sight to see, tucking us back into this super private cutout cove. One of the reasons we got a yacht today, we got this sport yacht instead of the catamaran. You guys know we love to do the catamaran. Well, we are going so far out and so far away to areas that you can't reach. You saw the giant four outboard motors back there. We are going at higher speeds to get to these far, far away places that you just wouldn't be able to reach in a day on a catamaran. That's why we ended up on the sport yacht today. Much faster boat to get you to these outskirts areas that you couldn't explore without it. Crew, is this pretty sick though, dude? So sick. Apparently there's gonna be some cliff jumping at some point. Seen a lot of cliffs just begging to be jumped off of. We've got two snorkel adventures coming and a lot more sightseeing to do. stopped here at our first snorkel drop. We're gonna gear up, head out to this reef area right out there. You can kind of see waves crashing on us. You know where the reef is, that it's gonna be like a beautiful, colorful reef that we can swim around. We were commenting on the blueness of this water. When the sun comes out, it just gets so vibrantly blue. She said it's nothing compared to where we're headed next, to the West Caicos, you guys. That's where we're headed next. So if this looks beautiful, it's only going to get more beautiful as we go along. First snorkel spot, drop it in the water right now. I don't know how it could get any more beautiful, any more amazing than that, but we're told the West Caicos is where we're headed now for our next snorkeling spot. And this is the place that you cannot get to unless you've got this high speed, 50 foot sport yacht. We're taking off right now, full speed, shallow depths. It's gonna be a little bit bumpy, but a 25 minute speeding ride out to a more beautiful, more scenic, more picturesque, and somehow bluer snorkeling spot. Casey, I have never seen you snorkel better in my life. You did so good, I'm so proud of you. observation I think it's when we're not with her it makes all the difference in the world if you have a guide that will go with Hazy. She the, says she wants to go with Neve again. Two times she did the best we're in Bonaire when we had the guide there we'll go with her then Neve is gonna go with Hazy again. She just does so well huh? So brave. So proud of you sweetie. So brave. It's because she's the professional yeah she's a professional. We have 
arrived in the very remote, extremely isolated Western Caicos. Look at how blue this water is. I cannot believe that this place even exists. Mindy pulled it up on Google Maps as we were approaching. It is a tiny speck of nothing in the middle of the ocean, very far away from where we're staying on the main, I guess, main island of Providenciales. I don't know what you would even call that. This, very much out there, our very own private island today. We're gonna get the drone up. We're gonna do some more snorkeling. We're gonna do some cliff jumping, some swimming, some exploring. But this place is ours for the day, you guys. And we can go swim in that cave back there. Guys, as it turns out, first order of business, we're jumping in the water and swimming over to that cave. This is a postcard come to life, and we're about to jump into it. We are inside that cave that you saw out there from our boat. We just swam inside of it. This is the inside of the cave. The wave's kind of pushing up against it. She said that it's usually higher tide. This is low tide. Something about how they don't very often get to stop here and do this because usually the cave is covered by water. It's underwater. Today, just down enough that we can kind of sneak ourselves in here while we swim around and explore this beautiful space. I'm in a cave with Hazel. Hazel, you've been inside of a cave in Western Caicos. Western Caicos. Western Caicos. Here we are, baby. This is insane. I love you. They have this amazing spread set up for us. We are having a little chicken skewers with a little pesto sauce on top. Yummy pasta salad with all the goods inside of it. Over here we have a caprese salad and bruschetta over here. Got some vegetables. Lunch this seems amazing. We're gonna leave this little slice of paradise right here behind, but before we get to our cliff jumping destination, we're gonna try sub winging. I've only seen videos of this, never done it. Unfortunately, still can't do it because all it is is torque and pressure on your shoulder. So there's no way I can get in and do it, but we're gonna let everybody who wants to have a shot at it. We're gonna pull the sub wing as we head towards our cliff jumping destination. I'm stoked to see what this is like in real life. I've only seen videos of it, never seen it in real life. Bing, I'm sub winging in the Caribbean, baby. Let's go. Got a guy with his sub wing in Western Caicos. Whoa. Say hi to the dolphins for me. Tell Jojo I said, what's up? These bros are gonna sub wing together for the first time ever. None of us know what the heck to expect. Boys, how was sub winging? That was awesome. Woo! Next up on the sub wing, we got Mom Mindy Bingham, aka Mindy's best. We got Maddie Bingham in the water. Sub wing time, ladies! Oh. Ladies, how was your first sub wing adventure? It is very deep. Yeah, we kind of started you where you can't see the bottom. Is that creepy? It is like it's so creepy. She said the depth wouldn't bother me. She said it's what's swimming up at you that should scare you. Brexy Doodle wants to get in on that action. He's going in right now. Brexy, are you ready for this, dude? Yeah. Let's go, bro. Rexon, fresh off sub wing. How was it, dude? Really fun. I like going down low and then I like going. <laughs> you are such a boss. I can't believe you just did that. Okay, bro, I think it's off to some cliff jumping now. Yes. Are you boys ready for some cliff jumping in the Western oh, Caicos yeah. Caribbean, baby? This is the bluest water I've ever seen in my life. This is incredible. Let's get up there and jump off. <laughs> this is so insane. I don't know how you get any bluer than this, baby. This is Turks and Caicos. We are in the Western Caicos, and this is how you bing them. Yay! Woo! Everyone's out 
out there but me. I wanted to get a little shot of them jumping off the cliff. I'm gonna go do it now. I'm excited. That was awesome! Hazy has suddenly become the most insane adventurer. She says, I want to do some sketchy jumps. Then she says, stop calling them sketchy, Dad. They're savage. Okay, three, three. two, one, send it! <laughs> Hazel Bingham! Woo! <laughs> Hazel's a savage! Are you ready to do this, dude? Yeah. Maddie, you ready for this last jump? I think so. Are you ready for the jump? Yep. Ready for the jump? Okay, here we go. Ready! Yeah. We've got home from a full day, eight hours out on that amazing boat. We did so many things. We first of all started off with just some sightseeing of the island. That was incredible. We did sightseeing. We did cliff jumping. Cliff we jumping, did snorkeling. snorkeling. What do you call that thing? Sub fin? No, sub wing. We did cave exploring. We, we did had so lunch. We had many croissants things on out the boat. there. Probably the coolest part was just being out there, going to the remote West Keiko, some of the most gorgeous blue water you can possibly amazing. see in this world. And one of the things that I love the most is how brave Hazy became today in her snorkeling, her cliff jumping. The true Hazy came out in full force, full I confidence. She put on a brave face from the very beginning. She took it on and I think she really enjoyed herself. She did it incredible and she was talking about the entire time how much she loved snorkeling. I was so proud of her to get up on those cliffs and she wanted to jump it higher really and high. higher in her element out there in the water today. All of the kids had a blast. Everybody had a ton of fun. Even watching Brexton go full send off the top of the boat. Oh I didn't gosh, see that coming. I mean, yeah. that was so cool. Tomorrow, you're going to be doing kind of like a rest day. We don't really do good at resting per se. Put together, I feel like a custom made schedule that works so well because today yes. we went very very hard and tomorrow and the next day we have just do what we want days so we've yeah. got beach we're gonna try and hit up grace bay beach the world famous in fact rated by most places the number one most beautiful beach in the world so we're gonna go check that out see what all that hype's about then we have another follow-up day that we can just do whatever we want hang at the pool go to the beach we got to get family pictures in and then we are off on our extreme jet skiing shipwreck jumping adventure for crew's birthday a lot of fun yet to come perfect pacing i feel like throughout oh, it's been perfect i think we're ready to sleep in tomorrow and just take things at our own speed. Thanks for hanging with us. We had a lot of fun. Like I said yesterday, we enjoy bringing you guys along as well. Make sure you subscribe down below, turn on the bell, come back tomorrow and see what we're up to. We love you guys. See you then. Good night, everybody. Bye.